everybody. This is Rodney Arbona, your host for the No Excuses Show, and I'm here at the Grammys on the red carpet getting ready to interview some wonderful artists for Metro4.com. here with Grant Smith, who's a big part of the Grammys, and I can't tell you how excited I am to get this interview. How are you, Grant? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing wonderfully. Today is a big special with what's going on. I can't imagine what's going through your mind. And what is going through your mind today? Just uh, uh, cowboys and Indians and, you know, <laughs> dreams of country music and that kind of thing. That's all that's going through my mind. Well, there's a, there's a lot going on because of the Grammys. and But it's not just the Grammys. During Grammy weekend, we do all kinds of different shows and get-togethers. With the Indie Collaborative, we're doing two. We did one big show yesterday, a big showcase, at uh, Feinstein's 54 Below. We had a great performances for four and a half hours, and right now we're about to start our uh, free Grammy get-together that we do every year uh, here at the, at the Marriott the official uh, hotel of the Grammys. You know, I have to say, Grant, your music is so Americana. I enjoy listening to it. Oh, it just brings you. me back to like my childhood and remembering the little things that are so important. So yeah. thank you with that. And you got a new CD out, right? Yeah. Dust Bowl? Dust Bowl, American Stories. Yeah, it, it was on Billboard for 17 weeks in a row. Very pleased about that. And uh, it did, has been doing really well. It still does well, so yeah. Excellent. Grant, I want to thank you so much for your time. I'm looking forward to seeing you a little bit later as well. Good we'll deal. catch up later. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Hey, everybody. I'm here with Sonia, and we are at the Grammys at the Red Carpet. How are you today, Sonia? I am terrific and so delighted to be in New York for the Grammys. Isn't it wonderful? And the energy in this room is just incredible. How is it affecting you? Well, the energy in this room has actually got me floating. That's so great. <laughs> you, you know, you can't say more than that, right? I feel like I'm a little kid at my birthday with so many presents to unwrap, and I just won't have enough time. So you can't be far from that. No, absolutely not. It, it is a gift that is here in New York. I'm a newbie. I'm a two-year voting member of the Grammys, and last year I had to go to L.A. So the fact that it's here, I am having the time of my life. So born and bred New York, so this is home sweet home. Well, New York has raised me. I'm originally from Kentucky. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, Muhammad Ali town. <laughs> but Al Alvin Ailey is where I started. That's fantastic. And not a bad place to start at that. <laughs> not a bad place to start at all. And I sang with Les Paul for seven and a half years right over at the Iridium before he passed away. That's fantastic. Sonia, yeah. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. I look forward to seeing you again. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hi, everybody. <laughs> You're I'm here with lovely Carol Albert, who's got an amazing CD out right now, Fly Away Butterfly, and we're at the Grammys on the red carpet. How are you, Carol? I'm great. I'm having so much fun. I could tell. You know, you look marvelous. Marvelous, darling. Oh, thank you. How You're is very your kind. Thank you. Today at the Grammys, there's so much energy. How is this energy affecting you? I feel energized and creative and just more motivated. How often do you get up here to Times Square? Um, not often. This is like my second time up. That's fantastic. So at the Grammys later, you're going to make a big hit, I'm sure. I, I'm just going to have fun. So with your music, you have one particular song which is deep in my heart, uh, Mas Que Nada, right. and your latest album has got so much going on. You have one, I think, at number five or six on the Billboard number chart? Five. Number, number five. Number five, Smooth Jazz, Airplay chart. That's fantastic. So what's next for Carol Albert? What's next is I'm going to continue working on my music and write another album and recording and keep doing what I'm doing. And you do it so wonderfully. I want to thank you for stopping by, and I'm sure I'll see you later, and we'll catch up then. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Rodney, with a No Excuses show. Thank you so much, dear. I'm here with Lynn, and we are at the Grammys red carpet, and it's just a wonderful day, and I'm so grateful for Lynn to be with me today. Okay, thank you, Rodney. How are you thank today, you. Lynn? I'm good. How are you? You know, Lynn, I got to see you yesterday perform, and it was just a beautiful piece you put together. Thank you. Um, your music is really inspiring. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And where do you get your inspiration from? Well, for that particular song, um, uh, 
I wanted to tell a story about these lovers, how they met, and then they went through the ups and downs, and then after that they have a happy ending. So that's how I got inspired to write. Well, you can absolutely feel that energy from beginning to start, that there was definitely a great ending to it. Yes, I can feel that, yes. Well, Lynn, I want to thank you so much for being here. Have a great time at the Grammys. I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you, Rodney. I'm here with Lou Caimano and one hell of a saxophone player who's been charming us for so many years. How are you, Lou? I'm good, thank you, and, you're, and I'm delighted to be here with you. So. Lou, I am so happy you're here on the No Excuses show because <laughs> I've admired your playing for so long. Thank you. And as a very frustrated sax player, it's always <laughs> great to see that something really comes beautiful out of that instrument. Uh, the first 30 years are the toughest, and then, and then it gets easier. <laughs> but I can tell you're having fun here at the Grammys today. Oh, absolutely, having a great time. Uh, we have so many close friends here now from our indie collaborative. It's really making everything worthwhile, and uh, this is our last little get-together before the Grammy Awards, so everybody here having a good time. That's great. You know, Lou, one of the things, too, is when you played yesterday, and I could see how large your heart got with every note, it actually touched me. I was just fulfilled with so much love from the, the music that you were sharing. Well, that's, I, I, that means the world to me. Uh, my, my whole purpose when I solo, when I play, is I, I want to touch people's hearts. If I can't touch your heart, then it's, that's an, that's, it isn't the music that I want to make. You know? Well, yeah. I'm sorry. No, you, okay. Well, you absolutely make that music, and I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I'm here with the beautiful Suzanne, who's got just an amazing saxophone sound. How are you today, Suzanne? I'm well. How are you? I'm wonderful. You know, there's not too many female sax players, and listening to you yesterday as a sax player, I could only pray I could take lessons with somebody like you one day. Oh, well, hey, my door is always open. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> We're at the Grammys on the red carpet. The energy is just through the roof. How is it affecting you? I'm really excited. Um, it's been so much fun seeing all my friends and uh, supporting them and just having a lot of fun collaborating and going to have a good time. The collaboration yesterday was just amazing. I couldn't get over how many talented people there. And of course, you were one of them that really set the roof on fire. You're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Suzanne, I want to thank you so much for being here with me today and No Excuses Show. Have a great afternoon. I look forward to seeing you again. All right. Can't wait. We'll see. Have a good Grammy weekend. Yay. I am here with one amazing singer, Natalie Jean. How are you, dear? I am wonderful. We are here at the Grammys, the red carpet. There is so much going around us right now. What a level of excitement. How is it for you? Um, it's, exciting. it's exciting. This is my third time going to the Grammys, so I can't wait to see all the performances. But the best part is being able to see all my Grammy friends and network and party and hang out. Not a bad thing, is it? No, it's not a bad thing. You know, yesterday at the event, you just had such a beautifully stunning voice. You made us all come to our knees. And if, <laughs> if I got to my knees, well, I'll go out of shoot, so I won't do that right now. <laughs> but you definitely look beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I try. I try. No, you did more than try. We succeeded. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'm having a wonderful time. I want to thank you for stopping by and giving me this opportunity on the No Excuses Show. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. And so you should have a great afternoon. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> thank you. This is the legendary Derek, who's one heck of an artist in more ways, from drums to rap. How are you, Derek? I'm very good. I'm very, I'm very happy to be uh, to be here and be interviewed. Definitely. The Grammys are upon us right now. We're here at the red carpet event, and I tell you, yesterday at the event, you were just slamming the music and making everybody smile. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm glad we actually just got together, you know, improv and just put it together. I love music. Music is like it makes the world go round. Without it. It'd be just silence, crickets, nothing, you know what I mean? We move with the motion of music. You know? Well, you sure had us moving because the way you can ad lib and just take a few <laughs> words and make it into so many different paraphrases, it's amazing. Yeah, it was, it was cool, you know, so I definitely, glad, I'm glad the crowd enjoyed it, you know, and we threw the drums in there and some, you know, piano and some saxophone, music all, it belongs together, you know what I mean? So definitely. It is definitely an international language. I'm so happy you're here on the No Excuses show on Awesome TV. Yeah. Give us a little hit. Uh, you, you just kick something real kick quick? Kick something real quick. Pockets empty. Silently sipping. A robbery is tempting. Bank accounts minus 50. Classified, not your average guy. On them block lines, we had to be fly. Gangstified. Had cock to the right. Under the rest. At nighttime, I'm visualizing a wonderful test. 
women with fine linen that'd be under their dress, stressing because last night one of my brothers was handcuffed under arrest. The land is rough, no one to caress. Grip the wife's hand, put my head onto her chest, make love, but more stress comes, more kids come from the sex. <laughs> I love it. I love hey, it. Drunk Thank nice you so much. <laughs> we know. We okay. We gotta keep. Folks, I gotta keep. I put them up to I this. I gotta keep it edited. <laughs> Thank you so much, my Peace friend. Peace love, man. Thank Peace you. Love. Thank you very much. Hey, it's great to see the two of you again. We we're at the collaborative, and what an amazing event! And thanks for being with me today on the No Excuses Show. Absolutely. I'll tell you, one of the greatest things that's come out of the Grammy organization is this indie collaborative event. Um, I had. Uh, a children's artist and I had five albums in the children's category a few years back I was lucky enough to be nominated with Miss Amy Kidd's fitness rock and roll that my husband not only played on but produced and this year we're here in support of our other artists but also Alex had a wonderful CD out and I'll let you tell about it. I had a great time at the Indie Collab yesterday I was able to sit in with George Vargasi and uh, also DDS who I saw wandering around here Derek Spears and then last night we were at BB King and I did a little bit of my act, which is the Alex Ote Trio with my guys, Amy singing some backups. And so we've had a great time this weekend, and it's just been really great to get to meet Grant uh, through the process. We've known him for several years now, and he's always puts on a great event like this with the Indy Collab and all these parties. Sorry. You know, it's such amazing energy in this room, red carpet, yeah. Grammys. Can it get any better than this? And we're in New York City, Times Square. New York. <laughs> in New York City. It's hard to, hard to beat that, that's for sure. Yeah, the parties in L.A. aren't bad, but nothing beats New York. <laughs> right. So Alex had his CD called Love Matters Now, and he's going to pull it out of your pocket and go. show it to you because it was a uh, global award winner. Yes, it was. For uh, Bronze Award this year. So well That's done. That's right. I was very excited that I got a little recognition for it. Didn't get Grammy nominated this year, but I'm working on the second album right now. But That's well, it's called Love Matters More. <laughs> That's great. Thanks so much for stopping by, folks. I really appreciate Thank your time. You. Have a great afternoon. I'll see you later. You too, Mr. Wonderful. Bye. <laughs> Hey, folks, you know, the Grammys, of course, is about all the artists that are here on the red carpet. But, you know, there's also a support group. It's family, friends, and I have a great one here named Teresa, who's just a big part of the support mechanism, and that's what everybody needs to be famous as well. How are you, Teresa? I'm great, thank you. I have to say, you look absolutely stunning. Thank you. And your friends speak so highly of you. I know it's not easy to be supportive because there's so much going on in one's life with this factor. How's that feel to be here today? Oh, it's amazing. I, I, there's nothing else like the Grammys. Isn't it great? It's wonderful. You know, it's in this day and age when people are so separated, it's a, such a wonderful feeling to know there's somebody like you hanging out and supporting us. Thank you. You know, what brings you just to the Grammys? What's What kind of music is something you like of the best? Oh, I love my girlfriend, Gypsy Jazz. Yes. Um, I, I, I love all music. That's wonderful. You ready to have a good time today? I, I am. I want to thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate these moments because it's just a refreshing thought hearing it from the other end of what's going on. Thank you. I am with one Grammy Award winner, Kevin. How are you today, my friend? I'm doing fantastic. Isn't this an amazing event and so much energy going on here at the red carpet. Yes, it is. This is the most exciting part of the whole weekend, right here, seeing all our friends, and we're all family here. That's right. You know, yesterday was just amazing as well, how many of you folks came up, played some music, just so much energy. Four hours just blew me away, and for yourself as well. Yes. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. It's great. I love being here. It's a, it's a magical time. Um, so great to see all my friends, and I hope some of them win. <laughs> and that's what we're rooting for. You know, we're all here together supporting each other and I love the energy that you guys share with each other. It's so authentic, it's so natural, it's so organic. You don't get to see that so much too often. So I compliment the two of you and being a part of it and helping each other out. Uh, I'm, uh, words can't explain the love here, the love between all of us. And everyone is just so multi-talented. And I'll say right now, this woman has an amazing voice. Oh, she, I was in the studio with her, and she just came in, she knew what she wanted to do, and she's like, all right, I'm going to try it in this octave, this octave, and boom, 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 knocked it out. True well, professional. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you. But it's a very soulful feeling here, you know, yes. a very real, majestic feeling. And there's a lot of change going on, and it's wonderful to be a part of that change, um, where we're all coming together and supporting each other. Yep. It's wonderful. And speaking of producers, 
uh, Kevin has been on the top 10 and the number one on Billboard. And I was lucky to be on his album. <laughs> so. You know, the one thing that really touched me yesterday amongst so many, but there's one thing Kevin and I were sitting, we really weren't introduced, we were just in this generic situation. And one of the things he said to me really touched my heart. He goes, I'm here just to share the love. And that's the only reason why I do this. And it was just so beautiful as he said, Kevin. So yeah. thank you. That's the truth. Uh, George Bailey, it's a wonderful life. <laughs> that says it all right there. I want to thank the two of you for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you later. Have a great event today. Thank, thank you. So thank much. you so much. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank you. Hey, folks, I'm here with two very talented guys who have two different ways of living life between designing, music, dancer, and he's got to definitely shoes them, mark it down. <laughs> How are you, gentlemen? Very good. Very good. I'm welcome to the Grammys. We're here at the red carpet. Isn't this just off the hook? Great energy in this room. Uh, it's one of those things you kind of bounce around and find different people on different paths, but all kind of going after the same thing, which is having fun and living out our dreams. There's so many wonderful artists here today, and they're so friendly and nice and welcoming. Right. And I really feel like this is like one of the best part of the Grammys. You know, it's funny, not funny, it's great that you say that because I had the beautiful opportunity yesterday to be at the Indie Collab, and I'm looking at all these okay. talented people, how awesome they are, and how, like you said, how friendly and warm-hearted. It's it? just another way of living life. It's great. Absolutely. I mean, you can see from the guy who just came up. That's just the type of energy that's in the room. And it's just absolutely wonderful being here. You see this guy, he made his own suit, his own jacket. Can you bet this guy? He looks really good. Uh, I'll, I'll hold it. But here you, you, go, you Mike. see this. You see, you uh, the okay. Mike just gets the mic. <laughs> I told you we were going to have fun. It's just, it's just awesome that. being here today, and I can't wait for the Grammys. I just can't see, I can't wait to see who wins and everything, you know? And it only goes up from here. Exactly. There he goes. Guys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And all your support to all these artists is just wonderful. And we're here once again, and we're here with Frankie who's just one big blues guy, and he's one heck of a photo bomber as well. How are Absolutely. you, Frankie? Absolutely. I'm like a terrorist on the camera, yes. <laughs> like, well, that's what it's all about, Absolutely. right? Having a good time together. I was checking out the uniform. Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, well, he's dying to interview me, so let's do that. Here Absolutely. You go, Frankie. Here, would you hold the microphone? So, you know, say something very intelligent. So how's you know, the because, blues world treating you? The blues world isn't treating me at all. It gives me depression. You know, I hate it, you know, but I write songs. So I've got a few hundred songs written, and uh, I get tossed around like a, you know, Remind me of John Lennon, Bob Dylan. Excellent. So it's a good company to keep, and I'm here because of Grant Malloy, Smith, and he's a fabulous artist, and Wouter Kellerman. And so me and fabulous people here, this is a beautiful experience, and I'm happy to be here. In New I, love, York. I love the blues. I, awesome. I think the blues music just really shows the soul of a person. It does. And you have to live the blues to be able to really portray it. Absolutely. You know, you know so it's a wonderful thing to do. Music is the greatest thing to tear down the walls, you know? No haters allowed. Peace and love to everybody. And God bless everybody. Frankie, thanks so much for stopping by today, my friend. Thank you. Great it was a wonderful you. interview. Thank you for letting me bomb you. You're welcome. You know, anytime. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. I'm here with Linda, who's got a great story and, of course, a great voice as well. But her story about her challenges and getting to a level is now became a movie. Yeah, I have a movie out. It's called When I Sing. The trailer is out right now. You can go to whenising.com. It's about all of us. It's about all these indies here. Uh, some of us are going to the Grammys today. Some of us can't afford to because I just spent all of my money, my life savings making this movie. But it's based on my book and I have a TED Talk too. But uh, I got nominated in 2012 for Best Americana Album and nobody knew who I was because I did it without a label, publicist or manager. And so I was the first indie to ever do that and it caused a kerfuffle in the biz, but I'm making lemonade and made the movie. When I sing.com, no one can hurt me when I sing. Well, Linda, you know what? That just says the whole no excuses story. And that's what we love is somebody who's got that no excuses lifestyle, just sees the challenge and says, okay, there's a wall there, but there's some cracks and I'm gonna get through those cracks and make lemonade out of lemons. Good for you. You said crack. But um, <laughs> honestly, if you want to do something, you got to do it yourself. You can't rely on anybody else. I mean, there are friends along the way, but this is DIY all the way kind of era right now. So I'm doing it myself. I didn't know how to make a movie, but I made it. Good for you, Linda. I think that's marvelous. Just I believe in yourself out there and that's just right. do it. It's all about the worthiness. Thanks for stopping by, Linda. Thanks for having me. You're so welcome. Mwah. Off to the Grammys. You look fantastic. Thank you. Bye.
<laughs> I'm here with Rondi, who's got a very unique style in jazz. We call it gypsy jazz. I'm going to let her explain it to us, and we're going to have some fun with that. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm from Seattle, Washington, actually Yakima, but also real close to Seattle. And um, I worked with several of the guys from Pearl Django, which is a popular gypsy jazz group in the area. And uh, But I also produced the album, sang on the album, and um, we also added in drums and piano and, and horns into some of the tracks and we did a lot of jazz standards and one of my original songs and a Danny O'Keefe song so it's a it's a little eclectic so when you say gypsy jazz give us a little description of how you would describe a gypsy jazz theme yeah well it's usually uh, in the Django style with acoustic guitar and uh, violin and David Lang who plays accordion is world-class accordion player so we've got him uh, playing on the album too and then Stan up bass is typical with uh, gypsy jazz, um, unless it's street gypsy jazz, and right. usually I don't carry around a bass. <laughs> yeah, but um, but some of the songs uh, I really wanted to do add trumpet and uh, saxophone and um, uh, trombone to it to to give it more of a, a more of a produced sound on some of the songs, sure. like um, Mambo Italiano and an old rock song actually from the 50s called uh, Black Denim Trousers and motorcycle boots, which um, might be interesting for the listeners here to know that Wands from Macklemore and Ryan Lewis sang on the duet with me on that. It's great. Yeah, Wands. It's named so, Wands. Talk about eclectic. That really yeah. kind of <laughs> covers whole different spectrum. It's like a rainbow. Yeah. You've got all the different colors going yeah. <laughs> on. It's great. It's, I, I can't imagine how much fun it must be. It must be great. Yeah. Did I show you the album? Yes, we have it. Oh, okay. So. Um, the, the, where the album came from is when I used to travel to, to um, Seattle, I'd stay at a friend's house, and uh, she had a pink room where I was doing all my creating, and she had all these things up on the ceiling and different things, so it seemed appropriate to call it the pink room. There you go. Yeah. Thanks so much Thank for stopping you. by. It's been such a pleasure Aww. to share this time with you. And it's so nice to get to know you, too, this year. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. This is what it's all about, being at the Grammys on the red carpet, is just meeting wonderful people, talking about all the energy inside the room, and so much how great everybody looks. So I want to thank you folks for stopping over and giving me a moment of your time. Yeah, it's really exciting. Beautiful. Very exciting to be here. Thank you. And yourself? It's very, very exciting to be here, yes. You know, I look around the room and I see everybody collaborating. I went to the collaborative yesterday and we, oh, great. we all ran into each other somewhere along the line. Yeah, but really what fun. a source of energy and yeah. all of you folks just bring that together. It's wonderful. Well, as a native New Yorker, I'm very happy that the Grammys are here in New York at last because this is a city of music and it's wonderful to share it with all the people here. Uh, as a Grammy-winning singer, it's very interesting since I won my Grammy several years ago how different and things have changed with Grammy voting this year. But I'm so excited to be here and just be with all the friends and make new friends and new connections. It's really a thrill, very stimulating to the creativity. Well, as a Grammy member, I'm very excited to celebrate this musical day with all my musical friends. <laughs> You know, that's so great, the three are here. You've got all different levels of how your connection is. Yeah, I want to thank the three for stopping on. Go ahead. Okay, no, just as a yeah. Grammy voting member, too, for the first time, it's very exciting to be here and to share this music with you. There's so much to the Grammys. Everybody thinks it's just one day. People don't realize how much effort has to go on behind yeah. the scenes. Right. And you are the behind the scenes, which yeah. is great. All the parties are so much fun. That's even more fun than the Grammys, just going to all the parties all the time. <laughs> well, here we are, one big party. Yeah. Thank Thank you so much, ladies. Thanks. I appreciate Thank it. You.